Now in our sixth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. gentlemen we're looking at Stephen Pearl hello he, still alive he, still is, here. He, he is a man who the last time we talked to him a week ago his air conditioning wasn't working and it's all fixed now right no <laughs> no because we do two of these at a time okay and he's still so yeah. look at him he's sweating look at this I'm dripping here my god I'm sweating like Elvis when the big fam runs out he, he, he's, 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 <laughs> he's sweating like Bill Cosby on the witness stand what's going on here He's sort of like Michael Jackson in the daycare center. Hello, is this thing on? He's fitzing. He's fitzing. It's fitzing. I'm having a spritz. Yeah, yeah. By the way, uh, here, somebody sent me this. What is that? The rectal thermometer. Well, oh, that's great. You know, <laughs> your roast or your rump. This is rump. a rectal thermometer, over the hill rectal thermometer. <laughs> okay, he's ready. He's dead. Yeah, yeah. I got my, uh, I got my mask. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Okay, he's trendy. You know, there's gonna be Hollywood parties where they're gonna point to a mask. But who are you wearing? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Who are you wearing? Yeah, yeah, I, got all these, I got my ear. I, these are not compatible with earphones. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Anyway, so how are you doing there, Stephen? Ah, still here. Oh, huh? buddy, still here. Not working. Not doing anything. Sitting on my top, watching television. What do you do? I, I asked this of Pearl of, of Bubbles the other day. What do you do when you're not working and you're a comedian? Because you got to keep your chops up, right? Yeah, well, Bubbles goes out and kills hookers. I think he had a seven state spree going and uh, did quite well. Yeah, he did very well with that one. And we were we, we were very proud of him because uh, he, uh, he, <laughs> he, uh, he, he made all those other serial killers look like oh, pikers. Oh. Yeah. Call Bub the Ripper for nothing. So yeah. <laughs> Bub's the Ripper. <laughs> oh boy, you know I yeah. still can't get him to uh, get into the twentieth first century. Oh, nope, he, he won't. He won't. I can't do. I, no, nobody. Uh, I have to do him by phone. Yeah. And then we <laughs> and then we just play this uh, this thing, this picture of him. Luckily, <laughs> you learned how to use Zoom, and so did I. And now we yeah. have you on physically. You and Kravitz, and probably anybody else I know. Oh, if you get me on this thing, you figured everybody in the world would be on this thing. Yeah, and, 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 and Bubbles goes, uh, I don't know, if I get one of those the iPhones, it would just be too difficult for me to learn to use. And I'm going, <laughs> That's what I when you send a text now, you have to hit the one button four times, three times to get to oh, the C, to to the you know. Yeah. Oh, God. I said, hello, Sarah, get me AOL. I mean, these things are idiot proof. Yeah. You know, I mean, really, everybody in the world knows how to operate this. They they made it simple, you know? Yep. Uh, Bubs is afraid it won't work for him. Yeah, I know. He should get one. Somebody offered to give him one for free, I heard. I offered to give him one. I have an old one, not that old. It's like the last model before this one. It's like, wow. you know, it's it's really good. And I wow. offered it to him, and I said, all you've got to do before I send it to you is look into getting it turned on. Uh -huh. And once I know that you're ready to have it turned on, I'll send you the phone. There you go. No. And I said to him, I, you know, I offered to send you, give you a phone. He said, so five other people. Yeah. <laughs> you know, everybody wants him to get into it, and he just won't. Won't do it. Stuck in his ways, Grandpa. <laughs> Old Bubba's. Well, I don't know if he's set in his ways or he's just the ultimate Luddite. I don't know. Well, you know, we're going to get him a, a phone booth for his next birthday. So Now, yeah. what are you using here? Are you using a computer? I'm using my desktop right now, and I got one of these. And yeah. I go, oh, hello, hello, how are you? And, uh, you know. Is that a cracked screen I see? Oh, my screen Hold it up. Oh, oh. Oh, let's see. What else do you have on your iPhone? 
uh, what, I got pictures. I got I had Facebook. I got you this. You know, everything unimportant that a kid wants. You know, it's just, yeah. uh, same thing. Same thing. Little, little icons and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. What kind of phone is it? I got dwarf porn. I got everything. What know? kind of? What kind of? What oh, it's uh, that's that's a good question. What is it? I don't know. It's a PC. Uh, the mobile type, uh, I don't know. Yeah, it is. It is in an iPhone. It is. Let's see. It's Metro by T-Mobile. That's all I know. That's what it says. Oh, that, well, that's just your service. Okay. T-Mobile. All right. It works. That's all I know. Yeah. So far yeah. I, you know, I, I use the iPhone because I started with it, and now I'm stuck with it. You know, yeah. I'm, I'm so wedded to the, the technology and to the eco structure. You know, all my text goes through Apple, all my email goes through Apple, all my, you know. So if I go and switch to Android, fine, but I've then got to switch everything. Uh huh. Yep, crazy. I just, I leave it be, I leave it be, and when it breaks, I'll, I'll panic. But yeah. so far, it's working. Yeah, yeah, I get one. I'm, I'm one of these people who gets a new one every two years. Yeah, okay, not me. And yeah. actually, I can get a new one every, every one year. But I just I'm just constantly paying for a phone, uh, yeah. yeah. And I don't know if I want to do that, but uh, this is this is works pretty well. It works great, you know. You're happy. I'm happy. The reason I stick with the iPhone too is I appreciate the fact that they invented the form, uh, you know, and they should be rewarded for that. Good for them. Yeah. 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 You know, Android is an imitation of this. Mm -hmm. Everything. I mean. Android many ways now some of those phones some of the Samsungs are even better than this but they started out by imitating this they they didn't come up with their own form or whatever so you know I kind of I think that needs to be rewarded you know so even though the company is a bunch of assholes well there were all companies are assholes well, yeah you? all these corporations are terrible you know yes their logo is we're assholes. But, but you know they spend they spend a fortune. These assholes spend a fortune every year on ads saying, "And we're your partner in America," you know, and oh, or yeah. we're out to help you, or whatever. <laughs> no, they're not. Yes, we're going they're, up your. Ass. They're, they're kissing your ass because they yeah. want your business. That's the only reason they're. It's because you got bucks they want. Make money. That's why they're in business. They do not care about you. It is to make money. Yeah. And he does not care about you. They're in business to make money and sell Wonder Bread. Well, obviously, though, you don't have a real problem with technology because you've got a desktop, too. Most people only yeah, have, an, I'm, have a phone. I'm very basic on this thing. You know, there's people who could, like, you know, uh, manufacture a car out of this thing if they knew what button. Just, uh, yeah. I, just, I know how to get around on it, basically. That's good enough for me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but we, we've got to get Bub somehow into the uh, 21st century. He won't do it. He won't do it. He won't do it. He'll die without having the technology. Yeah. Yeah. I said, I hard to move well, on. His, his excuse why he wasn't going to do any better is because uh, he they couldn't they couldn't put a high-speed line into his apartment. Well, they, uh, he admitted now they can a phone connection and he's used to hearing he, <laughs> yeah he's using dial up yep who uses he said there are like 60,000 people in the bay area who have dial up yeah <laughs> good what do you meet every week what yeah they, they all did the same hooker yeah bubbles, <laughs> bubbles is first and 17th yes yeah yeah but but i i just you know i i just never uh could figure out why you know, you, uh, maybe it's because I've always loved technology. I mean, uh, I, I yeah. hate, I'll tell you, I hate, I'm getting to hate technology uh -huh. because I'm tired of it breaking down all the time and me having to fix it uh -huh. or to call some kind of tech support and be online for two days waiting for okay. them to answer. And their, and their excuse is during the COVID virus, uh, wait times may be longer than usual because we are trying to protect our employees. Wonderful. Is that your excuse why this business sucked as bad now as it did before? Yep. You yeah. know, what was your excuse before? Ah, uh, well, we found another reason it sucked. Wait saying. times are longer than usual. <laughs> Every time I call, there's an announcement that wait times are longer yeah. than usual. And then sometimes somebody would answer immediately. Oh, yeah. Yep. Oh, if you have to go on, like, uh, on the phone to AOL help, God help you. May God help you. I'll tell you what I did. You know what I, I never did when I had to go online to get something taken care of, and I would wait on the phone forever. I finally decided, let me try their chat. 
you know, the chat. Yeah. And then I would get immediately be talking to somebody uh, who could fix it for me. There you go. So I found the chat works faster than sitting on the phone waiting for somebody right. to answer. Yeah. Uh, plus, they are all kind of fixed up so that if things are really bad and they've got to go into your machine and fix it, they can do that. Where on yeah. the phone, they couldn't do that. Right. You know, so I don't know. You know. I don't either. What do you want from me? But I ordered something yesterday. And then I decided I could get it cheaper and faster from Amazon. It's, uh -huh. it's a part of my Dyson vacuum cleaner. Mm -hmm. And uh, I then went back to the Dyson site to see if I could change it. And they said, no, we don't change anything. Once you've uh -huh. made an order, that's it. It's written in stone. It's over. Yeah. And I, and I wanted it from Amazon because they would deliver it in two days. This thing's going to take 14 days. Uh -huh. Yikes. Yeah, like turtle. Yeah. Uh, a snail. On the other hand, you know what? See this mouse? It's a mouse. Yeah, it's, an, it's an Apple mouse. Dude, uh, mouse. My Apple mouse went bad. Not this one. Another one on another machine. Of course, when I got the new mouse, I put it on the machine I use the most. But I ordered it at hmm. midnight on a Saturday. And it was here by 6 o'clock on Sunday. Uh, I mean... Good. That's pretty good. That's pretty damn good. Yeah. So, Darn good, yes. You know, for people like myself who got to have it now. Yep. Yeah. On it yesterday, damn it. But God forbid anything should break down, like if my, you know, my Mac breaks down or whatever. To get it fixed in this thing, you know, you know, the Apple store I don't think is open, you know, so I can't Whatever. take it down there. And I don't know what's happened to all their geniuses. Yeah. You know. I love call. Uh, I, I love the fact they call them geniuses. Oh, yeah. And I know more than they do. Yeah. I'm Clem, Apple genius number four to seven. Four. No, the only thing they're a genius at is they know how to work Apple products. They wouldn't yeah. know how to work anything else. I was only trained on Apple products. I do not know Macintosh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but they, we have to reinstall everything in the computer. You really yeah. have to do that. You can't just. What are you a genius and you have to replace everything it, in the well, computer? The hubcap was rusty. You had to replace the engine. Yeah. What was the whole thing on on uh, a Big Bang Theory? They like for fun. They like to go down to the Apple Store and put on the geniuses. There you go. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Put on the geniuses. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, but you you seem you seem you seem to be tech savvy enough. You know. Ah. Very bottom line, but uh, I can I can get around. I get off. I know email. And Facebook. Well, you know how to do email. You know how to do uh, surf the web, and you know. Yeah, I can get on YouTube. I know Google, so you know. Mm -hmm. Who could ask for anything more? And you don't have dial-up. I had it for a long time, but twenty years ago. Like <laughs> 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 Peter Townsend smashing his guitar on the stage. <laughs> You, you know, when I first got uh, uh, the current online thing, which is you're always on, I had to get used to the concept that it's always on. Yeah. Then if I went to my browser, it would go. It, it was, in other words, I didn't, I couldn't get on uh, on with the concept initially that my uh, internet service is always on. People, you, you don't remember this, most of you, but there was a time when it wasn't always on. You had to, like, dial it up, and then he got that sound, and the modem then connected, and then, uh, you know, if you got your email, three days later it arrived. You could send a letter faster than you could get an email that is with dial-up, you know. That is true. Emails but, can now go around but, the world in 24 hours. But that's the world Bubs lives in. There you go. You know. I 1991. One, 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 one. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, oh Great man. Picture. Yeah, well, I, you know, I, hmm? well, I want to get, want him to get into the 20th century, 21st century. I'd be happy if he got into the 20th century. Well, he just got a VCR, so I'm very happy for him. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, if I, if I, if I, you know, I mean, uh, he, he, I want him to get into it so I can. It show people what he looks like. Maybe that's the reason why he e or something. Yeah, huh? I think hold up a picture of ET. Yeah, yeah it, it, he looks like Droopy Dog, doesn't he? Isn't that what? Droopy that? Dog? He looks like Droopy Dog. How yeah. would you describe how Bubs looks? I'm not getting that. Oh, no, me, I'm very tired. 
I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> I'm pooped. Um, <laughs> Oh, my God. Oh, boy. Well, we're almost running out of time here. Anything you want to say about the coronavirus? Uh, I think it's a, I think it's a hoax. I think it's the whoop, the whooping cough. It's making a comeback. It's making know? a comeback. It's a, it's a, yeah. Yeah. I try and tell 135,000 people that it's a, it's, I don't know. A, it's, it's, it's a put on. Anything like this in my life. I don't know. Just, this, is the, <laughs> no, this is every sci-fi movie you ever watched. Yeah, I know. It's this amazing. is the last man on earth. Uh, yeah. You know, remember that movie, The World of Flesh and the Devil, with Harry Belafonte? Yes, Poppy? absolutely. I it saw was, it the other day, and it looked they could have they could have shot it in New York right now, and not not, not had to do it at six o'clock in the morning. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's that movie all over again. It's hey, exciting. listen, we run out of time. Out of time, yeah. baby, out of time. Yeah, yes. Thank you so much, Stephen Pearl. We'll see Thanks, you. Next, we'll see you next I'll, week. Bye. Live and cooler next time. Bye. Now in our sixth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. I got the mic on now. I had the wrong mic on. I had the mic on from across the room, so it sounded kind of like that, right? You know, because you heard it from across the room. But anyway, I... Yeah, I'm I'm screwing up a lot that way lately. I begin to wonder if it's, you know, eh. I'm going, I'm going, folks. I'm going. I'm sliding down, sliding down, getting out of here. Uh, listen. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Hold on a second. I have a couple of things before we go to our citizen panel, and you can start uh, calling in if you want to, and go into our room and wait. Uh, first of all, let's say I went to. Uh, I went to I went the furthest I've been away from this apartment in five months, maybe almost six, since March. Okay, I went. Uh, let's see here. Was it 20 blocks? No, 15 blocks over to Mount Sinai to go get a CT scan and a blood test and uh, 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 um, uh, X-ray. Uh, to look at my uh, prostate to see that all the things worked right and so on and so forth. So it was just a di It wasn't even a diagnostic checkup. It was just for their records, okay? I had to get a baseline on stuff and so on. But it was really strange. I mean, I, was, I haven't been out like that in the past, right? And then I'll tell you the good thing about it today. It cost me about, uh, about 8 bucks to get there using a lift which was terrific and then coming back the only thing available was sixteen dollars i don't know how it changed in an hour and a half but it did change but the uh, car came and picked me up and i'm looking at the front of uh, he's got this huge screen in the car with a map of new york on it and i'm going wow he really put out the bucks for that and then i suddenly realized i'm in a tesla and I've never been in a Tesla before. In fact, when I went to get grab the door handle, you know, to open up the door, I pulled the hand. I went to pull the handle, and there was no handle. And then all of a sudden, it comes out. <laughs> and I opened the door and I got in. I didn't know it was a Tesla. And then I suddenly realized it's that damn Tesla I'm in. And I've never been in a Tesla in my life, but it was fine, you know, until it ran out of electricity. Then we, I had to walk home, but you know. Uh, a couple of things uh, for the, our governor today. He went on a big rant against the federal government, against uh, Homeland Security and uh, something where they, they, they gave him a bad time. They gave the state a bad time. For the last six months, they've been denying New Yorkers the ability to get these, you know, these, these kind of you can go and get pre-approval to go through uh, passport control and so on, and you give them your name and all of that. And... You show them that you are who you are, and you have an interview, and then they give you a, a, a pass. Uh, well, they were denying those to New Yorkers uh, because Homeland Security said, uh, it's a problem here because New Yorkers you know, got all those uh, foreigners coming in and so on and so forth. And um, the governor of the state of New York sued the Department of Homeland Security over this. And uh, yesterday they buckled. They said, "Oh, we decided that we want to uh, we want to just settle the case because uh, 
Uh, there are other states that have the same exact problem, all right? And uh, uh, he said, I tried to tell you that months ago, but you, you, know, you weren't listening or paying attention to it. Uh, so um, I'm trying to go there. Oh, see, I emptied my trash can. Um, so uh, he, they finally, they, they, they buckled. Okay, so now we can go get those pre-approvals now if you're from New York. But he claimed that it was because it was a Democratic state. And uh, when he pointed out a lot of other Republican states also had the same thing and they weren't doing anything about them, uh, they then dropped the case. And he, now he is filing charges against the Department of Homeland Security and the head of the Department of Homeland Security, and I believe one other department as well, uh, for a, in a criminal action for what they did. So we'll see what happens with that because he's, he's asking Bill Barr to investigate and a lot of, a lot of luck he's going to have in doing that. So anyway, listen, uh, uh, he also sends, he sends this thing every day. It's a nice little email. And it says, uh, we continue to make pri pro uh, progress against the virus. Yesterday, hospitalizations were at the lowest level since March 18th, and there were 186 patients in ICUs. Wow. Wow. Do you, do you realize what a difference that is? Yeah. It's horrible. It's terrific. Yesterday, there were 650 total hospitalizations. That's not many. Uh, the lowest since March 18th, and the state conducted 76,000 507 tests, of which 753, or 0.98%, were positive. Sadly, we lost nine New Yorkers to the virus. Every, now, every time he mentions somebody died, he, he always says sadly. But, you know, compared to what it was, I mean, it, it was as high as 800 at one point. Anyway, I guess it's time for me to go into our, uh, into our uh, waiting room and admit all these people to our... Uh, 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 panel and uh, Phil, Phil, get rid of the background, okay? Jeez, you know, I don't know, it's annoying. Hello, Robert, how are you? Alex, and and plus, fine. it isn't perfect. You, look at you. Your, good evening. your right arm is cut off and it doesn't look good, uh, Phil, so just dump it, okay? Uh, let's see here. Josh Wheeler is coming in, and Rob Alfano. Uh, yeah, no, that's not funny, Phil. It's annoying. It's annoying. Yeah, just, get, just, get, just get rid of the background. Unless you've got a green screen, don't do that, because it, it, their uh, um, uh, background thing that they've got in Zoom is not really that good. You know? Yeah. That's why I don't use it. Uh, hello, Charlie. Hello, Robert. Boy, three days in a row. You're you're now four. A, you're four. Oh, well, if we count the other show. No, if we count show. Monday, it's five. It's five. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, four. Four. Okay, five. All right. Wait a minute. Wow. Wow. You're, you're, you're uh, uh, three's a trifecta. What's what's five? Yeah, uh, you're, you're, pick, a pick five. You're oh. you're you're, a, you're hooked. Yeah, I suppose. Hello, Brian. <laughs> Watching baseball last night, huh? Yeah, and I was watching a little bit now, but Giants are going to be it's going to be a tough year. For me. How do you like yeah. it with a laugh track? <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That sounds good. That sounds good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, 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 Rob, how are you getting along watching baseball that way? Is it uh, making any it's, sense to you? You know, it's better than I think. Start quiet. Yeah. You yeah. know, I think that would be even more bizarre. Yeah, I guess. I guess. Uh, and bat basketball starting up. They've been playing already on their new court yeah. in uh, Florida, and that's quiet. But they have all these big screens, like, all over the lower section. Yeah, they, they're doing it so, in Florida? Yeah. Don't the coughs bother you? <laughs> Don't the what? The coughs oh. bother you? No. Okay. So, I, yeah, I, yeah, so the basketball is really bizarre, so quiet, so... They're not piping in sound. Uh, they weren't on the games that I was watching today. Mm. Yeah, yeah. But they should. They should. You would think something. indoors Even they would really do that. So, what what know, did our, our governor uh, said that talking. the uh, Toronto Blue Jays is it? Yes. Are going to be playing, play playing in uh, 
in Buffalo. 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 Yeah. Uh, so uh, I guess I, I guess uh, the, the the people that we, you know, the uh, team is the countries that don't want to play in their own country decide to come here to play. You know. Well, New York's a pretty much clean state right now. You know. They were turned down by Pennsylvania. They were iffy with Maryland. Uh-huh. So New York was uh, New York's a great, minor league ballpark. Yeah, but it but it's a great choice because of, of just the health factor. Yeah, you know, and uh, I was asking the uh, uh, the nurses and uh, that I was dealing with today, what was it like around here? And she says it was it was hell. You know, back a couple of months ago, she said we had beds in the cafeteria. Okay. That's how bad tell things were. It. What? I said, tell me about it. Yeah. Beds so in the cafeteria. Now. And um, they said it was terrible. And now uh, I, uh, I, I, they, they, I go in. They scan my forehead. They get my name. They find out where I'm going. They make sure I've got a mask on. There were complimentary gloves if I wanted them. So needless to say, I took the complimentary gloves because, <laughs> you know, anything that's free when you're paying for medicine, you take, you know. I'll even take a free tonsillectomy if they want to give it to me, you know. But I, I now have this. <clears throat> Green. Oh, wow. As soon as Kaiser, you go in, Kaiser doesn't want you wearing gloves in there. They, they want hand sanitizers. Well, they, yeah. said, they said don't put the gloves on. Is what they said. They to me. But you, but you can take the gloves. What, if what's you the want. purpose of that? What? They well, had bringing them in for sure. They didn't want. They didn't want you to have contamination coming from the outside. Uh, um, no, they had extra gloves and they wanted to give them away. No, uh, the reason why you can't wear gloves in there uh, is because they might mistake you for a doctor. So. <laughs> but well, no, I. Uh, uh, so, but I, t- I said, can I have a, a pair? And she said, fine. Actually, I cop three. Uh, and without knowing it, and uh, she said, yeah. "Sure, you know, it, 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 people like to have them and use them, and so on, you know." And they had masks there if you didn't have one, but of course I had mine, and uh, uh, it was, uh, you know, it was. It, it, but I, it was the first time I've been away from this place that far, and that's only like 15 blocks away, you know, in in all these months. So it's changed. I've- yeah. I finished my radiation this morning, mm-hmm. and I got a bill yesterday telling me what the charges were. Well, I would say yeah, the radiation is sixty grand. Uh, just for June, it was thirty-four. Oh, so, really? Because mine mine came to between the the, the uh, bracket therapy, bracket radiation, that's the seeds, and the other one that I did. Uh, it came to, uh, I think, about one hundred and ten thousand dollars. Wow! Yeah, of How which much of it up, do you owe? Uh, I owed. I had to put out. Well, I had to put out what I would normally put out. I think I had to put out five hundred dollars total. You know, hey, not bad. You not know. bad at all. And and, I, and that isn't what they get. You know, they they charge that, then yeah. they get less, and then I guess for tax purposes they can take a tax break on the difference you know well, they uh they charged 34 they got 26 i believe mm-hmm. and i paid 250 and, yeah. and what i paid for was just certain tests you know uh yeah. ct scan things like that yeah yeah to pay copay right but uh the actual radiation uh, it was zero yeah well in my, in mine it was just uh you know, it's one thing or another, but it, it it came to I think I think I have a five hundred dollar, you know, oh, yeah. whatever, you know. And after that, it, it but there's part of it that isn't free though. There there are two different kinds of bills you get. One is a physician's bill. The other is a hospital bill. And mm. the hospital that you can I can pay up to twenty five hundred dollars as a copay over a period of time for the hospitalization. But they don't, not all the stuff is the hospitalization is charged off to the hospital. So, you know, I mean, they charge me for, I think they charge me like a hundred dollars for the operating room. And I thought to myself, you know, you're going to charge me for the operating room. That should be comped. Where are they going to do it? Out in the parking lot? 
You know. may have to. Yeah, it didn't make any yeah. sense to me. You should go to Kaiser, and it would be in the parking lot. Yeah, it would be in the parking but lot. But they got a covered parking Kaiser's lot. Much, yeah, but it's, it's Kaiser's much better. Yeah. Kaiser's actually very by, good. By one. the way, I'm how, happy with Kaiser. Well, this is interesting. Yeah, you're the only one. Uh, uh, <laughs> you know, as Bubbles used to say, it's uh, um, Kaiser. It's uh, doctor assisted suicide. Um, but anyway, what uh, what uh, what was I going to say? Um, how, how is the uh, because you, you know California's got we they they're doing better than, worse than we are, okay? They have more cases now than we had, all right. So that means your hospitals are pretty filled up. How is it over at Kaiser? I go to a, I was going to a special uh, cancer hospital, so there wasn't any competition. Uh, oh, okay. So you weren't competing for with COVID people and so on. Yeah. And when before I went for a prescription yeah. pickup, oh, I actually went into emergency also, but they uh, they had the emergency area. They had it all blocked off. They had a bunch of stretchers back there, um, but this is before the spike. But it's been quite up here. I think more of a Southern California. I think Southern California, especially where they had Huntington Beach and they had those. Remember those big mob scenes, yeah. people crossing the streets into the beachy people on Facebook are saying, oh, why is Southern California getting spiked? I said, Dude, do you remember, my friend lives in Huntington Beach. I said, remember you say you guys are going to the beach? Jeez. Hmm. Oh, Charlie, what's your shirt? Shirt hmm. of the night. Uh, when I was a kid, Pluto was a planet. <laughs> <laughs> when I was a kid, Pluto was a dog, a cartoon dog. Anyway. Hello there, uh, Vernon. Haven't seen you in a while. How are you? Doing just dandy. And you're in your uh, you're in your office, which also contains the Morse code key, right? That's correct. Why don't you uh, t uh, tap the tap this one out? So because we do need to send out a, a distress call. Would you send out a distress call saying, "Help! We all have coronavirus." <laughs> CQD. <laughs> CQ. That's what they. That's what they sent on the Titanic. CQD? CQD. That what? was the distress call at the time. That was before SOS. What did it mean? What? That was the distress call, CQD. Yeah, but, but, but did it mean anything? Because SOS means save our souls, right? Yeah, yeah. but CQD was, uh, CQ is a general call, and the D at the end meant distress. distress. Ah, okay. All right. Uh, yeah. uh, shut up, Phil. Can you beat that? Yeah, shut up, Phil. <laughs> <laughs> he's not going to do it nah. no I'm not going to do it what, what no, do you, no. he's too Terrible. decent a human being to do it <laughs> when you get in trouble for sending out a false distress call yes you can yeah. well I mean well, so that that's uh, you you don't control where that goes now you're broadcasting it through the air and, and hope, hope hope that somebody picks it up oh, let okay. me turn my let me turn my lighting down a little bit yeah, I, I thought I thought you were met when, you press, when you press that you're just doing it me, in your room. Let me, let me ask a question. We have uh, we, hello Tony. How are you? Yeah, that's a little that's a little mm. less uh, hot. You, is this is this a row flush yet? I, uh, I, no, it's a full house. One more. Full oh, house. it is a full house. Oh, okay. Full well, house. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Uh, let me... The Vernon. Uh, I read somewhere that they eliminated two meters, uh, or the repeaters for two meters. Is that true? Is that true? Not that I'm aware of. Maybe it's Our club still operates one. Yeah. Hmm. Now, they did eliminate Morse code requirement for ham radio licenses. You don't have to know Morse code at all now to get a ham license. Yeah. 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 But you, uh, there's still a couple of frequencies that you can only use Morse code on, right? 80 and... There are, there are segments of the shortwave bands where only Morse code is allowed as a as an emission type well i take it back um that has been reduced somewhat and on some parts that used to be only morse code they allow other digital modes mm -hmm. okay let me ask a question here how many people here know somebody who has covid oh, i knew somebody you, you know somebody i know somebody because too. Of, I found, yeah, my cousin joy got over found out today it's somebody i know has covid yeah yeah. Yeah. It, it, they. That so we've only had more. two people since we've only had two people since March. We just had an email uh, last Wednesday about Building Five. So they closed it for 24 hours. They're doing all the scrub down. The bad thing is Building Five is our R&D lab, and that's where we're coming up with the new Fluvid 
uh, product. Ooh. So, yeah, so I happened to see one of the guys uh, yesterday. Fluvid? Okay. Fluvid, yeah. So we do flu, and then they have the COVID, and uh, we have one that's going to be combined for so. Mm. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, because it, uh, it's, 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 still, it's still not good. It looks like Florida is going to pass New York pretty soon, too. Yeah. Yeah. Probably tomorrow. Do you think it that fast? Well, yeah, they're only like 7,000 away. Oh, really? They're yeah, already, they're already passed 400,000 cases. Hmm. They're already losing business in Florida. Florida is taking it, though. They're faking Jacksonville the just lost the convention. That's right. Yeah. 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 That's right. The GOP is not going to Jacksonville anymore. No, well, I don't. I think I would be willing to bet Florida didn't want it there. And uh, a lot of Trump, the people around Trump didn't want it, period. Oh, yeah. And I think sure. that the, the, the to save his go. own ass, he then took uh, credit for it, saying, see what I did? Right. I want to protect the American people. He doesn't want to protect <laughs> shit. He just, how, do you, how do you like the, sh the crap that Trump did today? What did he, he do? Signed, he signed four executive orders lowering the price of uh, of. Uh, prescription drugs mm -hmm. so that it's the same uh, the lowest price that any other country pays and you know how can he do that he's going to put all those pharmaceutical executives well, out of work he's a uh, he's, he's girls a, to give he's, he's, you all the swag he's like a, he's like a, he's, he's, he's like a broken clock uh, yeah well he's right you know, twice a day you know those pretty girls that give away the swag in the doctor's offices mm -hmm. they're going they can't have those anymore if they can't charge exorbitant prices this is terrible you know, where am I going to get pens? You're going to get your eye candy. Drive Go to the bank. They give them for free. Oh, yeah. Maybe you pictures of drive They have little chains clubs. on them, but that's okay. Sometimes mine gets it. In my bank, they had these uh, uh, styrofoam hands that, you know, look like, you know, something that, you know, number one or something like that. I, I said, can I have one of those? And, this, is you know, a, this, is how like, this is how far back I go. I remember banks where you okay. went to the bank. And the pen was chained to the desk. Yep. Yeah, oh, sure. I mean they were they had all that money sitting in that bank, and yep. it, they had to save their pens by chaining them to the desk rather than saying. My bank still them. does that. Really? Yeah. yeah. I mean, who's gonna rip the pen off? Well, I gotta uh, do that by the phones they, in my store. They should, Otherwise, they I'd never have a pen they, to they write should. down a message. When I had out. my first bank open, my first bank account, they gave away a toaster when you opened a new account. Oh, yeah. I am, I am so, I am so old that I can remember like. Wait a minute, hold on a second. How old wait, are you? Just, just hear me out here because <laughs> I can remember like maybe four well, years ago flush. when a president would sign an executive order instituting price controls. Republicans would have went crazy for government yeah. interference in the free market economy. Well, yeah. uh, Trump said that he's going to make some enemies ago. doing this. He says all the pharmaceutical executives, he says they're, they're going to be mad at him. But uh, he says that's the way it goes. Oh, he's, yeah, he's being a brave guy because he's, he's losing. going to lower his... insulin prices to where it's pennies instead of uh, the exorbitant. Well, that's very good. Uh, you know, it's great that he's doing something because he looks like he's losing. Yeah. Well, yeah. no, I don't think he's doing it. He said that there was a lot of red tape to be able to do what he's doing. No, oh, yeah. Really? Sure, he said took that. And three uh, years? He's always seven and, and a half months, months to figure that out? So, yeah. Well, you've I, heard, I guess you don't like the fact that uh, he's lowered drug prices, huh? No, I, have not, I think that's fine. Well, he, like he said, he's, you know, he could do a thousand bad things and two good ones. Yeah. Well, okay. I mean, he's, he's fucked up oh. this country. He's killed 140 close to 145,000 people, I think that if doing something good for a change is kind of nice. Well, he didn't have any problem with it at all. I just said if Joe yeah. Biden had done it 10 months from now, you guys would have fucking lost your shit for like yeah. <laughs> no, no, Biden could have done, I mean. done it four years ago, and he had eight years to do it and didn't do it. Oh, right. It doesn't change that the fact that of... if he had done it, you guys would have went fucking nuts. I mean, yeah. that's that a totally different vice, conversation. Yeah. Vice presidents don't have that kind of moxie. Uh, royal yeah. flush. Oh, no. that's more than royal flush. It's more than a royal a flush. Jackpot. It's a jackpot. It's a jackpot. 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 Yeah. There we go. 
coach. Yeah. Did you see the Did you see the meme with uh, they said? Remember when everybody, all the Republicans went crazy and it has Obama with his feet up on the the presidential table, and then it showed the next picture was was Trump with his his uh, commercial of Goya products. Crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My Republican friends for eight years during well, not for all eight years because when Obamacare was passed, mm -hmm. my Republican friends told me, we "Got to get rid of Obamacare. Got to get rid of Obamacare. We're going to have a better plan." We're well, I figured that when Trump won, that they would have this plan, you know, folded up on old yellowed paper, torn in the corners, <laughs> and then suddenly, like, what happened? I, I don't know what happened exactly, but I ain't seen shit. Robert, you have friends? <laughs> yes, believe it or not. Yeah. Yes, I do. Trump has a problem with the word plan. Yeah. With, with the work, what word plan? plan. Oh yeah, plan. Well, plan. What the, plan. well, he's he, he, he's going to pay more for your drugs now because oh, uh, because uh, Trump made them less, and you don't want Phil, to. I hardly pay for my drugs at all. Yeah, okay, so because I'm place. insured. All right, so you know it doesn't really matter what the prices are. And if you don't have insurance, you can always sign up for Good RX. All you Republicans that hate Social Security still cash your checks every month. Yeah, I don't yeah. cash them. They get, they get direct deposited now. Yeah, yeah. Because I got he, my first one a couple days ago. Then he doesn't have to touch it and burn into flames. Yeah. yeah. All government. I, I got my first check a couple of, on the 22nd. It's the, I'm the uh, fourth Wednesday. Gee, Phil, that's wonderful. You're like only the 10 millionth person oh, to do that. that. Are you take, aren't, aren't you taking it early, Phil? No, I'm 66. What? I'm 66. Oh, okay. Yeah, he waited till he was 66. Okay. What was what was that beep, uh, Vernon? The word fuck? Uh, my my phone fell down and touched the key. Uh, <laughs> that thing's always yeah. ready to go, isn't it? Oh, it's th this is just a a practice oscillator that I've got hooked up. I'm not actually broadcasting. Oh, so. okay. Okay. But it's nice to know Morse code. I mean, I'm, 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 uh, I'm impressed. I, I enjoy operating on that mode more than I do voice. Yeah. So, yeah. So anyway, um, so, um, uh, uh, Cuomo is, uh, filing, uh, trying to file charges against the, uh, director of Homeland Security for criminal charges. Lock him up. Uh, for uh, what they Lock did, him up. What, no, what they did to New York City, in, in not allowing—I can't remember what the thing is. It's something like the fast pass or whatever. That thing you do, you go in, you have to give them your driver's uh, license and uh, proof of where you live and all of that, and then they give you this authorization that you can just go through passport control by just, you know, literally jumping the line. Yeah, and and they denied oh, yeah. they took that ability to do that away from New York State about six months ago, and uh, he said he he said well look you know he says there are six other states sixteen other states that are doing the same thing, uh, unfortunately most of them are Republicans, mm -hmm. uh, and he said I think you're doing it for all the wrong reasons and they said no and they kept going after him well what happened was because people couldn't get these fast pass things the uh, lines uh, coming into this country were exceedingly long and congested at the time that covid was spreading you know that the lines for that i have did you hear what i just said phil uh, why I don't have, you respond to what i just said i am i have global entry well, we don't give line. a shit that's not what we're you're saying an idiot the lines for global entry are longer than the lines without global entry because everybody's got it. All right. he said was that the lines were exceedingly long with people who didn't have it, and that was causing more COVID cases. Yeah, well, now everybody's got it. And, uh, yes, COVID. Lines long. COVID. No, the, uh, the global entry. My, uh, my global entry is going to be up next year, and if I... And if I repay uh, the money this year, I get a hundred bucks off. Uh, or, so, the the thing is, I can't get on the website. They changed the website, and I don't remember what my password was. So it always, it always comes down to you, right? Yeah. 
One, two, three, four. <laughs> well, you've heard you've heard Department of Homeland Security now has a new handshake. Yeah. Yeah, it's called Zeke Heil. <laughs> <laughs> don't say that on facebook you'll get banned yeah, yeah. i'm not on facebook no but the thing is <laughs> the thing is that uh, morning, yeah. uh that, that uh, you know that he he's very very mad about it he's mad about it because they finally said you know what we just discovered we discovered that 16 other states also have the same thing that's what he's been telling them for the last six months and they they haven't been reacting to it you know it, it's just it's it's just terrible what you know this president is vindictive against anybody that any democratic states he's vindictive about yeah you know didn't want to help states uh, that had bad covid problems because they were all democratic states and they didn't deserve to be taken care of what do you think about that almost taking care of florida i hear hmm? i i think that you're full of shit that's what i think it's almost helping florida He's sending them he respirators and things like that. Oh, remdesivir. Trump actually admitted. Remdesivir, yeah. What were, what were you saying, uh, Charlie? So Trump actually admitted. He said the blue states are mean to me. That's why I'm not, I'm not going to help you. you know. I, I don't think but we so. don't need his help in Kentucky. We only had 691 total deaths. Why, why would he send in uh, Gestapo to help? protect the uh, citizens of Oregon. He's, 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 not, there to beat up to he's not protecting he's anybody. Not, he's arresting Oregon. peaceful protesters. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's stifling yeah. freedom of speech. He's and intimidating he's people so they won't protest. He, this is what happens. This is what happens in a banana republic, Phil. Yep. And it's Chicago fascism. wants No, they uh, don't. Those no, no, they no, don't. They don't. No, no. Chicago wants help to solve murder cases. They don't want help to arrest protesters off the street. The only thing they said they wanted was the help they normally get from uh, uh, from the, uh, FBI, uh, the, the FBI and the uh, DEA. Uh, yeah. But that they didn't want Trump coming in with his stormtroopers. And you sent me a thing the other day saying, see, she asked for it. And I looked at it and she said, no, don't do this. Yeah. I don't know uh, why that, you sent me that. That, that. that was just rhetoric to cover oh, her I, real... I see. No, yeah. she specifically said she didn't want the storm That's troopers. what she said, but that's not what she meant. What did oh, she say? Oh. She called you to tell now you. You're trying to make her like Trump, right? Oh, this I can is see what he said, but it's not what he meant. Yeah, I don't listen exactly to what right. he said. He, what she said was not what she meant. Mm. She, well, how do you know you wants, read minds? He wants to help. With one with one sentence, she wants to help. With the other sentence, she says, no, "But she go wants through to that." Help that we've always gotten the pass. Phil, you said they cooperate it, with. Yeah, the city. I know, they Robert. I know, I know. Um, doesn't this make you, Kevin? Doesn't this make you want to just tear your beard out? <laughs> <laughs> By the way, the number of protesters in Portland is almost double tonight. Good job. Uh, yeah, uh, really good job. Burn, baby, burn. Um, hey, by the way, let me ask. Protester? I want to ask Kevin a They're question. Ke too. Kevin, you obviously, when you go out, you wear a mask, right? Yeah. Now, I find when I wore the mask today for an extended period of time because I went to the hospital, that it, it was really making my beard itch. I had a shave Be off. Yeah, yeah, because you know it makes my beard itch. Uh, does it bother you at all? Your, does it bother your beard? You have so no. much beard that it now doesn't cause a problem. Yeah. Doesn't bother me. Oh, okay. All right. Well, I have to wear you know, I have to wear a uh, face covering at Home Depot. A bit of That's required. Actually. Yeah, and the mustache kind of gets to be a little. Yeah, it gets itchy. Itchy. Oh, yeah. Lately, yeah. I've gone a couple of days without shaving because I can put the mask on and then the customers don't see me. So you yeah. know the, they don't see that I didn't shave. Well, I like it because then when I go to demonstrations and riot, nobody will know who I am. Phil. <laughs> right. <laughs> just just. Put tape over your name badge on the uh, on your uniform. Well, that's what they that's what the cops there do. So why shouldn't I do the same thing? You know? Your anti it, act, it actually adds ventilation. I hate Trump. What <laughs> adds <laughs> ventilation? The beard. The beard. It adds it adds you know air. Oh ventilation. okay. Yeah. Well, that would mean that you're not uh, sealing it right, and uh, well, you don't and have to complete. That's that's a, yeah, well, those paper let's, masks let's, don't let's, seal anyway. Let's no. go for a little walk, Phil. Come on. We'll walk closely together. Ooh. Yeah. I'll You'll give me your COVID. You. I'll breathe on you. Your cooties. <laughs> I'll cootie on sound, you. Some, uh, you know, I mean, it's, it's pretty good. You and I, 
I got today was a uh, I, I bought a larger uh, 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 what do you call it uh, air air, air purifier. purifier. Oh. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. They work. I can't tell. It's Only if they're HEPA filters. The HEPA filters would take out any kind of well, bacteria. This, has, this or has a HEPA virus. This has a HEPA filter. Yeah, yeah. Well, that takes out all the good stuff. And this thing is good for like fourteen hundred square feet or something like that, or you know, on high speed and low speed, it's good for about five hundred square feet, which is my bedroom, which is where I have it now. You know. And I put the smaller one in a smaller room. But I, I just, I don't, I don't know. I started sneezing tonight, so I'm wondering if it's, if it's keeping the pollen. Mine has these metal uh, collect, electrical collection things, and the dirt uh, magnetically uh, adheres to it. The, you know, what's in the uh, room, and then you just yeah, take it and I, wash I, them. I know that, and it was. I thought those were called bug zappers. Yeah, and, and also, also a few years back, they said those things don't work. Uh, well, I've been running one for a long time. But... Electrostatic, yeah. yeah, yeah. Electrostatic filters. Yeah, they 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 Not were charging. Of they were charging a lot for them, and it turned out they didn't really do shit. I got a sharper image. Don't they call that negative ion generator? No, no, no. You're a negative ion generator. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the Israelis actually developed that. Yeah, it's a Himalayan uh, salt rock. Yeah. In so the air. so anyway, I you know I I. Um, uh, what was I going to say? I, you know, what's happening in this country, it's just it's very sad all the way around. And now we're getting to the point where these people are going to get evicted because the Congress yeah, isn't doing right anything to protect them from being evicted. And a lot of them don't have a job, but not for any fault of their own, you know. And it's terrible. In the counties terrible. around me, the local... Uh, administrations has said that there's they not allowed to evict and they extended the the time period but that was all done locally uh contra costa all the bay area counties yeah. uh, put an eviction moratorium and then conquered where my store is they also have a, yeah. an eviction moratorium. i think there, sh there should be an eviction moratorium there should be a, there also should be forgiveness for the money that wasn't paid because you know when you have somebody that doesn't make a lot of money and they couldn't pay rent because uh, they weren't working. And now all of a sudden, this is through with, and they hit them with like a $5,000 bill. That's not a good deal. You know, that, that's if, not healthy. If they're not working, they should be able to go and shoplift? Who? What? Uh, uh, Cortazio Cortez. Oh, Jesus. Oh, so, just that, shut up, Phil. Uh, come on. If, if, if you are not working, you should go shoplift. She never said that at all. Give me a break. I'm not working and I'm not sure. You don't hear the positive comments of your no. leader. Apparent, apparently not. Yeah. Number one, she isn't my leader. She happens to be a congressperson from another district. Okay? So stop it. New York. So and stop second, it. She never said that. Democrat. And secondly, she never said that. Right, Charlie? Well, yeah. she just had a fight with some guy named Yo-Yo. Uh, on the steps of the Capitol. <laughs> no, she had a fight with the guy who is a yo -ho. Yo -ho. <laughs> It's like Yo-Yo or something. No, his name is yo Yahoo. He, he, Yahoo. He called, Yahoo. He, I think he called her. I think. I, I think he called her. A, I think he called her a fucking bitch, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Uh, yeah. Telling the truth. He ate his asshole. She, she his stood ass. on the Congress. She stood on the floor of the House of Representatives and said. That this fucking guy called bitch. her, and I quote, quote, a fucking bitch. And they yes. bleeped it out in the news. Yeah. You know something? Her. They don't have to bleep that out, and they shouldn't, <laughs> because it's news. You yeah. know, it's not, it, it has no importance if you bleep it out. It's for the kids. It was yeah. obvious what the he said. never do. What? I have to learn something. Just like what, when, when they bleeped it out, you could tell exactly. Yeah, but yeah. it's just, yeah. it's cowardly because you're not reporting the news. This is news. Yeah. You know, she's saying this in Congress. Anything that's said in Congress, you know, yeah. uh, record. should be okay. You know, well, here's the thing. No congressman, no congressman or senator by their own rules that's right. is allowed to say anything disparaging about another member of Congress. That's exactly yeah. right. And if they do, they're subject to ethics violations and they could they could yep. be fined, they could be suspended, they could, you know. Yeah, well, I, in all depth. No, said he didn't say it, that. It, it, 
Well, do you, I don't, so, do you believe see, him, Phil? Of a reporter he heard him say it, Phil. He didn't deny it either. Yeah. Uh, he, he said didn't he apologized he, either. He, yeah, he said if I if I said something that offended you, yada 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 yo yo. But uh, <laughs> Bill, in your entire life, is was there ever a Democrat that you admired? Admired? Yes. No. You didn't have oh, to wait. agree with them; just admired. I don't think so. And that's, you, you know what? Then that's like a third grader saying the kids in 310 are all creeps. You know, they, they are. <laughs> they lose all credibility. You didn't talk to those kids in 310. You should have realized they're all creeps. You know, there are also, there are also 12 other people here, 11 other people here besides me on this panel. And none of them have been able to get a word in edgewise because you always have something to say. All right. Tony, what do you have to say? Uh oh! Wait a minute. Tony's helping Mama. Oh God! I'm He's looking. I'm looking. Going at, outside. I'm, wallpaper. I'm looking at the wallpaper, and I'm starting wallpaper. to want to kill somebody. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you will kill you. That wallpaper has a life of its own. You realize that, right? It's like we could do a, a, a sci-fi, a hot horror film about the wallpaper that kills. <gasps> I say we go and connect the dots. Yeah. So how many of you are actually going out? Are you go you're going out, Rob, a lot? Or are you, you know, I mean, I know you can go out because you're not. In the, you mean leave the property? Well, yeah. Leave the estate? Yeah. No, I'm, I haven't been anywhere. Really? In, I went two weeks ago. It'll be two weeks ago tomorrow mm -hmm. to go look at a car at a Ford dealership. Mm -hmm. That's the first time since March that I've been any place but my porch, my deck. I, I go out and get a cup of coffee and I'll get on Muni, yeah. cruise around the city, but you know, other than that, I don't do much. Who's that little, who's Where that gonna go? Who's that little bandit with Brian Neary? Yeah. Say hi. Hi, hi Adrian. See her mask, her mask, little pig. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's, <laughs> it's, re it's, it's really adorable. It really is. And they didn't have my size. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have my size. Okay, go. Uh, you know, you should be yeah. able to get masks made on the spot. With <laughs> what did she say? She said, "I love you." I would love you oh. too. <laughs> uh, my heart just sank. <laughs> uh, uh, if, 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 if they like, could take a picture of you and then put your face on the mask. I saw where somebody's doing that. Yeah, yeah somebody's doing and, that. And it looks like the bottom half of your face. Of your own. Yeah. 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 Wow. What I wanted to do, I always clean shave. So what I wanted to do is have the mask like with a goatee or something or a beard. There you go. There you go. <laughs> and they, you, you meet people and they think, oh, that's funny. Yeah, and then you take it off. And like, now, here's my question, though. Here you have all these designer masks out there. Okay. Yeah. And uh, how many of them are actually doing the job they're supposed to do? Yeah, who knows? You know, I mean, they say you can put a handkerchief about, uh, over your face and do that. And the fact is that um, uh, uh, if that doesn't work that m well, uh, how about the ones that people make for themselves? You know, I mean, this, well, like the mask well, keep, I have has three layers and things. Well, like keep that. it keep in mind, Phil. I mean, uh, oh. keep in mind, Alex. Yes, I'm not the, Phil. The, please. The main, the main, the main <laughs> purpose of putting a face cover on is not to filter out other people's particles. It's to keep your Yours particles from, to from leaving your face. Yeah. Okay. Here comes my explanation. I did this Monday. You wear pants so that if you piss. The guy across from you doesn't get wet, and he wears pants that he gets wet, but he doesn't piss on your leg. Uh, that's a good. That's a good analogy. That's a good Jeff, analogy. Jeff, you said you've been you've been out, right? I, I go out almost every day, except I only go out in Oxford Green, which mm -hmm. is you know where five hundred people are. Yeah, and and well, you you wear a mask. No. No. I wear a bicycle. Oh, I see. Okay. And I'm always riding on a bicycle, and I keep away from everybody. That's okay. That's my strategy. I just 
Because, you know, you could you could get some kind of spatter from somebody if you went by them too closely. Right. But they, I don't if go, they get too close, he runs over them. Yeah. I don't I don't get close. <laughs> I don't I don't even go on. I don't even go on the uh, on the regular road. I, I go where the cars go. Good. So, Good. You know, that's my strategy. This is terrific. How about you, Tony? You go out. You know, I go to the store. Right, but I'll like you know, to the food store. Now tomorrow I'm going to visit Shecky, but I'm taking a, I'm taking a taxi. I will not take the train. Yeah, I refuse to take. I don't feel safe taking the train yet. Trains are really? supposed to be so clean. I, I don't am buy told. Into it I'm told. Mark, the train's going to be, the taxi is going to be cleaner than the train. Well, I told the four ones guy already. He has a mask and a screen up. Well, no, I I, I took two lifts today, and they both had a plastic screen between me and them. Yep. And um, from what I understand, the lift people clean the back seat every time you leave. So, so for one, he told me for know, one thing. But yeah. Marjorie took the subway the other day. How was that? And she said it was phenomenal. She said she's never seen it cleaner. So, I mean, the know. word clean, as you know, Rob, yeah. you're from New York, mm -hmm. and the word clean and subway are not two words that are synonymous <laughs> with each other. Yeah, not, not normally. I'm gonna she, wait. She I'm said this too. was squeaky clean, and every night, you know, for four hours, yeah. they clean those cars. I just figured I, this time I'll take the, the the taxi. I don't mind it at all. And you know what? Maybe I'll wait a few months, and then I'm not just ready to go underneath yet for the subway. I don't know why. I'm just not ready yet. Yeah, my, and she's taking buses too. She's, she's done the buses. Okay, yeah. Alex, is it free the subway? The, I was going to The subway that. isn't free, but the buses are. Buses are free. Still, I know, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Buses are still right. free. Yep. That's interesting. You enter in the back by me. I see well, you know, on. I mean, they got to run anyway, and they may as well have some people on them. That's really what it's all about, you know. So, uh, but it's it's pretty good. How about you, uh, um, uh, Robert? You're out in New Jersey. You I've get out? only been out three times since March. Three times? What do you yes. do for? I mean, outside, like I go, I walk my son's dog, that sort of thing. But yeah. to go out away from my property three times since March, because and I find I'm getting sick. They were medical procedures. I'm getting sick from being in too much. I'm getting cooped up a little bit. I go in the yard. You know that I'm very weak, lightheaded. That's uh, what my mother complains about lightheaded. Is we lacking, take her out the lacking any real strength. Um, I'd use the Peloton here that Marjorie has, but those goddamn seats are so hard. Yeah, you should try to exercise a little bit, maybe. That could be it, too. Well, I, I would like to, then when it was, when I said, okay, it's time to go out now because, you know, the numbers are good around town. Things are kind of safe, and I'll take a walk. But then it was like 195 deg It was 195. It was 95 degrees with like uh, 10, you know, uh, 50, 60, 70% humidity. And I went, I'm not going out in that, you know. I took uh, the dogs in the yard, I wet them, and I went right back in the house 20 minutes later. It was too hot. Yeah. How about you, I Jeff? Alex, did you did you uh, have a test when you went to the doctor? What? Uh, 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 no, 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 I didn't have to. I didn't have to. You only have to. I think, Phil, did they give you, did they give you, um, um, uh, five, COVID tests? We should have. Well, when, uh, if I uh, go for the colonoscopy that they want to schedule, I'm sure I'll have to take one. But you don't have you to for the, the, for the radiation. No, I didn't have to. Okay, really? I wouldn't think you'd have to either because I was. They put me in for the for the X-ray. They put me in the same kind of machine that they did the radiation <laughs> with, and mm -hmm. and uh, they didn't uh, ask me to you know to do a COVID test for that. I Billy think it's only if you're undergoing some kind of surgery that they, you know, uh, that they yeah. do it. My wife moved, not moved, but she drove halfway to Florida to pick up her mother mm -hmm. uh, with her other sister who was in Florida. Yeah. They split each other the drive. Yeah. And, and now she lives with her mother for a whole week. And then she's being tested again because mm -hmm. Florida is pretty risky. Uh, Josh, uh, you 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 go to work still every day, right? Yeah. Yeah. So you're you're getting out is you know. Oh yeah, I mean I still got to run to the store and. Yeah. You know, yeah. Do, you do. do you do wear a mask? 
What's that? You wear a mask? Yeah, I, I wear like a neck gaiter you can pull up because I don't care for the mask. But same difference, but uh, yeah. yeah, there's a mandate for it here now in Ohio. So you really you're, you're how how bad is it in Ohio? Uh, it, it's pretty bad. I think it's like uh, they had a pretty good uptick the last you know 21 days maybe. So I don't know if they put it in the red category, but it's like right below it. So probably in the top. Out of the 50 states, it's probably in the top 10. Yeah. What's, it, what's, inter- what's, inter- yeah. what's interesting about New York is we used to be number one. Yeah. And now we're... Now you're not. We're the bottom. We're the yeah. bottom. You know. We're um, number one uh, now. California. How many deaths they have in California today? How many deaths they have in Texas, uh, Charlie? At 196 today. 196 deaths? Yeah. Wow. Second highest ever. And, and, and uh, well, let's see. I guess, I guess we're getting close to, uh, we're going to get close to having, uh, uh, being number three here in New York. No, Cuomo today said something that fascinated me. Um, he was shown statistics that say that contrary to what was publicized, New York is currently 35th in the nation in um, senior citizen nursing home deaths. I, I would imagine that's true because I've watched, I've watched the nursing home deaths every day from the beginning when we had like 800 deaths. And they were never as profound as some people made them out to be. Um, and I, I don't know what the reason is for that. Did Cuomo say what the reason was for that? No, he never really went into it, except that he was kind of taking a shot at the fact that uh, it was highly publicized, that it, you know, they overblew the amount of fatalities that were involved. Well, they were also going after him because uh, he did what the government recommended. Right. When we were so filled with people in the hospitals, every bed was life-saving, okay? So if somebody got better... We moved them out of the hospital as fast as possible. If we saw they were getting better, they may still not be able to pass a COVID test because they, they, they're they still coming off the back end of it. Uh, but they had to get them moved out so they could move them in. What they did is they took the people who had been from nursing homes and sent them back to the nursing homes because they weren't able to spread it even though they were still COVID positive. Uh, but they needed the room. And Did they and, still have that temporary hospital at the Javits Center? Uh, they no. Dismantled? Oh, no, that was, that's been gone for several months uh-huh. now. Yeah. Uh, also, uh, Franklin Graham's Say You Believe in God and Will Cure yeah. You uh, tent is gone from in front of uh, Mount Sinai. Lord have mercy. What's the positivity rate now in uh, New York? <laughs> the positivity rate right now as of today from the testing right, was point ninety eight percent. Wow. Yeah. So um five point two eight in Kentucky. Yeah. So I mean you then you can and and, and Kentucky's not a real hot spot. No, it's not. Not like a we're, lot we're, of the we're, we're right there. If you look at the color if you look at the, the map now, we're in the same color range as West Virginia. The percentage in Florida and everybody around us is is redder. <laughs> I be, may be mistaken, Phil, correct me if I'm wrong on this, but in Florida, the percentage of people who've tested positive is twenty percent in most de- on most days. That's right. Yeah. 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 yeah but you can't trust Florida. They're lying about it. They're covering it up. I don't think so. I think at this point it's pretty. Yeah. Uh, Google Rebecca Jones. She was the lady that was in charge of collecting all the data and mm-hmm. reporting it. She got and, fired. Uh, they, they fired, fired her, her because she wouldn't lie about it. And just read about her. She she created her own uh, dashboard. So, you know, my, my question is, why do you want to lie about it? You know what? What is the advantage to lying about it? Governor, politics. It's all politics. Huh? It's all politics, right, Rob? Yeah. Because otherwise, there's no other logical reason to lie about it. Right. The best thing to do is to tell the truth. Um, again, Cuomo says this, and I, I hate to keep quoting Cuomo, but he's done a very good job here. 
he said, my job is to tell everybody what is the truth, to give them the facts, you know, not to sugarcoat them or anything else. So that when I tell you to not do something, when I tell you to do something, you'll listen to me. You know, but if I keep lying to you, you're not going to listen to what I have to say. Um, it's it's like rational. Hmm? What were you That's kind of what our governor's been doing also. As Andy he... Brashear, the governor in Kentucky, has been doing the same thing. And, of mm -hmm. course, he has a Republican attorney general, so he's been fighting him tooth and nail. Wow. Wow. What was terrible was what was going, what's gone on in Georgia with the governor there and the fact that he wanted to sue the mayor and the city of Atlanta. He for, did sue him. For, for, yeah, for putting a mask order in place. Um, yeah. And, and, you know, come on. These are... These he's going to lose that lawsuit, though. Of course and he's going to lose it. And I'll tell you well, why. They lost a lawsuit in the Supreme Court today uh, that was a lawsuit by a church that said that they, they weren't being allowed to open up because of the COVID thing, but the casinos were. <laughs> and uh, the Supreme Court said, no, the two are different, whatever. And, and the fact of the matter is this is a health thing thing this is a public health concern and therefore the state can say that you can't open up and it's the supreme court today uh it, they didn't give any other they didn't give any of their real reasons behind their decisions because it was a emergency decision i think they call it where they go to the court and it's something that has to be done now because it's it's of the restraining moment. order it, well yeah Probably a restraining and, and, order. and the supreme court said uh-uh you can't you can't open if the state says you can't open you can't open you know and uh you know and gambling casinos are i think far more religious than religions so you know whatever uh, I mean, how many people find God when they lose all their money? I, I you know, <laughs> I may evoke his name, but usually it's not a good thing. Yeah. 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 Um, but um, uh, so, you know, it's just it just doesn't seem to get better. And, and it's it's the stupidity of not wanting to admit, like you were saying in Florida, how bad the situation is. They're not willing to tell people to wear masks or, or whatever because you consider it a political thing and none of this is political this is all about human lives and um, I just wish we would leave all the politics behind and just say what do we do that's good for the people you know how do we save the people and, and let's not throw in other distractions like uh, jug, uh, you know jackbooted thugs going into Portland to take our eye off what or is the Kansas biggest, City uh, uh, or uh, Detroit uh, or uh, Chicago? To, uh, Did anybody uh, see the Fox polls today from swing states? No, but, double yeah. digits. Yeah. What for Biden? For Biden, yeah. yeah. He's up thirteen points in Florida. In Florida, yeah. What makes it different, in my view, is that you know um, people are going to vote by mail in record numbers due to COVID this year. And that starts in some states in as little as three weeks. Yep. Yep. So while it looks like there's 100 days till the election, it may already be too late to, you know, influence people that are on the fence. There may be no fence. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, the thing is that, that you know, what I, where I think Biden is, is appealing to people, he is kind of a working man's candidate you know uh he's a blue collar candidate um much more than than trump i mean trump's not a blue collar candidate he's never worn a blue collar in his life you know you know what i heard today that really probably the most upsetting thing i've heard about donald trump mm -hmm. is that he's going to throw out a pitch at yankee stadium this year yeah that, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that but, is just nasty but, but he didn't throw out the first pitch of the season who did that now, that was Fauci. Fauci. Boy, he was. Uh, and he hooked good. left. Boy, and the screwball couldn't throw a curveball. He, <laughs> he, 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 he almost did what I did. I almost hit the umpire in the balls. Uh, <laughs> I'll tell you, I felt sorry for him when he threw it, and it was all the way off. You know, yeah. whatever. He's but, a huge uh, but baseball I fan. Have, you know, I was asked to throw out the first pitch at a game, and you go out to the mound to throw out the pitch. 
And you get out there, and you think, oh, this is going to be simple. I'll just throw the thing, and yeah, I'll either hit the ball or not hit the ball. You have no idea how far yep. home plate looks from there. It's like Did it's in practice? another county. Did you practice? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> let you warm up. I thought they let you toss them. What? Uh, a friend of mine threw out a first uh, pitch at a uh, Giants game, mm -hmm. and, and he worked with the pitching coach. Yeah, they let uh, you toss them. Yeah. Typically, if yeah. you want to. Nah, well, they, he they, threw it, but, and, he, and he got it over home plate. Yeah. But, I mean, uh, I got it to home plate, but I hit the, uh, the uh, umpire in the, in the balls. <laughs> Jeter, Jeter told Bush, if you don't throw a strike, they're going to boo you. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. <laughs> he won't boo you. He pretty good pitch, he though, he after he, it. It. he nailed it. Yeah, yeah, he practiced and he nailed it. Well, to begin with. And I, he was wearing I, a bulletproof I, vest. Yes. I, I've, I've really? never. I've oh, never been uh, I've never been much of a baseball player, so to throw out a pitch was a act of real strength for me. But I was amazed that I even got it to home plate. I mean, I, I that to me, I thought it was going to be go about halfway and just fall down to the ground. But and you've never been a football player or basketball no, or hockey no. or well, tiddlywinks or. Something? Never, never really played baseball. I probably maybe played baseball a little bit when I was younger. You know, I mean, um, I've always loved baseball. I mean, I love it as a sport. I think it's just, it's the most perfect sport ever created. You know, um, uh, and yet I can't tell you who's what and where and what team and so on and who's ahead or anything like that. But if you want, if you say to me, let's go out to the ballpark. I got a couple of tickets. I'll be going with you. Be happy to. Love it. Yeah, I think because of it, the other sports are so fast. When you when you're into baseball and you understand, you know, you just see somebody throw a pitch over there. But when you understand that that pitch is setting something else up for later, maybe even the next at bat for the player. Yeah. I think, you know, that, that kind of strategy well, when you really watch the game is really. I also like yeah. the fact that it's a very social game. You know, that you go out with your friends and you sit there and you have some beers and you have some hot dogs and you canoodle with each other and you talk and then all of a sudden something happens. And then you go back to talking again. And, you know, but it, it has a certain social thing about it that's really nice. But a bunch of people getting around a pasture, you know, watching yeah. people play a game out in the pasture. Uh, I, I think they're going to play the game. They're, they're still going to play the game in the, in the Field of Dreams. This summer. Oh, really? The way they changed the teams. It was supposed to be the Yankees and the White Sox. Is that and the actual? Because they're not doing all this traveling this year. They they're chose, I think, uh, yeah, I knew it, and I can't think of who. Me too. The White Sox, yeah, I think, is still. Iowa or Nebraska? Yeah, in that field where they shot it's the Iowa, movie. Isn't it? Iowa. Now, you're, Iowa. You're a baseball fan, aren't you, Tony? Yeah, I don't know. I'm trying to think. Yeah, I, I like baseball a lot. Baseball, football, actually. Yeah, yeah. What, what, which do you like better, football or baseball? See, I think football is kind of a klutzy sport. It's kind of a well, thuggish sport. I kind of like. I, I like all three actually. I would say, I, I I play football a little bit, and I also play basketball. Baseball, I never really played because it's part of the doing the league and get like nine guys to play. So basketball was easy. Just going to walk and play. Yeah. But if I had to choose a sport, like if I really wanted to play, I would probably rather play baseball because. Not so much as wear and tear on your body as much. Man, I don't know about that. 162 games. But football, they're smashing in the head. You ever get hit yeah. by it in the middle? Of the it's every day, and it's a grind. You get hit with that ball. You see what happened to Tanaka? Yeah, he got the concussion. Oh. I don't even that was a long drive at him. Too. Could you? I mean, I just mean, imagine getting hit with a ball like that. But you know what's amazing? When when my brother went to a game once, and we sat close to the field, how fast that ball's going. Oh. Yeah. You know what's good about the game now? When you see the game now without fans now, you hear the ball hit the mitt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's like, oh. Baseball is incredible. My brother and, and if you listen closely now, the reason they're putting the crowd in the background is you could occasionally hear somebody say, fuck. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They're aware of that. And you, you know, hear somebody oh, fart. Uh, 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 Josh, Josh, your 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 game of of, of uh, choice is what? Football or baseball? Uh, I mean both. You know, I mean I'm a season ticket holder of both teams, but I mean I probably like football 
more, I guess, probably, but I mean, yeah. We just yeah, built they, a new stadium here in Louisville for the uh, major for the, the major league soccer. Oh really? Yeah. yeah. This is like asking, you know, which one of your kids you love the most. Like, yeah. yeah. I know. Gosh, how, about, how about you? Ke- how about Kevin? 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 What's your game of choice? Well, the thing is, it, it depends. To me, depends on what season you're asking me, because I like hockey. Yeah. Oh, you like? I like baseball. Yeah. And I like football. Mm-hmm. And. If that's in season, that's what I like. So you like sports in general? Oh, yeah. I, I just yeah. like watching games. Yeah. Yeah. Jeff, do you have a, a game of choice? At all? Yeah, I like basketball. I'm kind of like, I'm kind of bored with it. Oh, okay. Days. I know that's inappropriate, but I've given it up. Ryan? I really like watching hockey, though. Uh, I don't like going to football games because when you're sitting there, you're wondering what's going on in there at a commercial break. I like watching football. Mm-hmm. Um, but then baseball, I love going to the games, and hockey's fun too, San Jose Sharks. And then basketball, I play that. Basketball is the funnest to play, and I think the safest. Yeah. And uh, to watch basketball live is really interesting too, because you're not watching where the ball's going with the camera, but you could actually see the plays being run and stuff Go, like that. Glenn, so. how about you? I, d- the name oh. you put up there tonight is Glenn. Glenn <laughs> he doesn't even know. Um, <laughs> well, I grew up in Santa Cruz, so I'm participatory sport is surfing. But I mean, to watch, I've always liked baseball and football and basketball. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, 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 did I ask you, Richard, what your game of choice is? Robert, rather. Excuse me. Um, I, I I love sports to death. I think if you made me choose a favorite, it would be hockey. Okay. Hockey. Really. Yep. See, uh, you grew up probably playing hockey, Devils though, fan. Right? How about, I did. How about yeah. you? How about you, Phil? Uh-oh. Uh, I was the kid that they took after the kid in polio uh, with polio. So <laughs> the last guy, complained, last guy picked. And they complained, do we have to take Meyer? <laughs> you know, <laughs> have the polio kid? He's got money in the wallet. We can buy a skin. We'll get a skin. I, I, never, I never cared for uh, uh, group sports. I scuba dive. I like tennis. Uh, well, actually, I don't even like tennis. I, I like scuba diving, uh, and I like uh, skiing. Well, scuba and, diving and, isn't a sport. It's an yeah. athletic endeavor. Well, it's close yeah. enough. I mean, uh, Charlie? I didn't ask you. Uh, um, well, to play, uh, I, I played baseball. It's the only sport I played, but I uh, I uh, enjoy watching football most. Oh, okay. I can see Dallas yeah, Cowboys. I, oh, I know you played loves- a ton of baseball and a ton of softball. I was a softball slut. Really? Yeah. Oh, I played <laughs> every day, and I played tournaments every Five days weekend. a week. So did I. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. I never knew That's how I broke my leg. <laughs> Is that right? Wow. That's wow. why. That's why I'm. I am the. You wouldn't way I think am that today. it was that that uh, uh, the kind of sport that would cause a great amount of injuries. You know. Well, yeah, I, I did. That's why. I'm, that's why I'm limping today. And you also throw it underhand too. Yeah, if yeah. you want. Oh, if you want. <laughs> only the pitcher. Uh, uh, yeah, only if you want to bean somebody. Okay, yeah. throw a little chin music at him. <laughs> yeah, if you're pitching, you can go fast. Yeah, when I was a kid, I think I did. I, I was like, uh, I wanted to be on the swimming team, but I wasn't good enough. I wasn't fast enough. You know, I, I, I swam like crazy. You know, I love swimming, but uh, speed is not one of my one of my things. I can do long distance. I can. Sw- I, well, I could. I don't know if I can anymore. I'd probably run out of breath after one lap. You know, but in the hey, old Alex, days, yeah. You may have to come to your friend's rescue. Larry Ooh. Brown posted two hours ago that his computer just died. Oh, boy. Uh, well, no, I talked to him on the phone, so it doesn't matter. Oh, okay. uh, however, I do send him email. Well, no more uh, here. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. How did he post it, though? Yeah. How yeah. How did that? he post it? I thought it was a joke. I saw it, too. I thought it was a joke. Yeah, well, you know, you can post from your phone. I guess he just types the. You, was you that was that on a Facebook a flip page? Phone? Yeah, yeah, it's on uh, his Facebook feed. He has a Facebook. Yeah, I, feed. Okay. Anyway, hey, listen, we've run out of time. It's been kind of a nice, loose mm-hmm. Friday show. Charlie Wallace, thank you so much. Is and and Robert, this is this is a pleasure. I love having you here. Be, be My here pleasure. Every thank night, you. we love you. Same thing with Phil. 
Thank you, Phil. He's kind of you're kind of the doppelganger, the opposite of Phil. <laughs> you're kind of like you know. Uh, and you and, have hair. Hair. Yeah, and you have hair too. <laughs> uh, those aren't plugs, are they? No. Oh, see, real hair, Phil. See what those, it looks like. They had too much testosterone. That's why I got cancer. Yeah, Josh. Thank you. Thank you to Rob. Thank you to Brian. Thank you to um, boy Glenn. Uh, I'm just going to start using whatever name you put up there. I'm, I'm not of course. Uh, Vernon Nunn, thank you. Thank you, Tony. And thank you uh, uh, to Kevin and to Jeff. And if all of you would like to give a big wave goodbye, I'll give you a wave goodbye as well. And uh, that's it. That's our citizen panel for tonight. Good one, huh? Good bunch of guys. And uh, we wish maybe there was a woman in there. That would have been nice, too. But what the hell? Hey, listen, we're off for a couple of days. We're back again on uh, Tuesday night, right here, 1030 Eastern Daylight Time. Same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her. And everybody, stay safe and wear a damn mask, will you? Help save the lives of the rest of us.